PGA Sports so proudly presents this PGA Tour event. We're at the Travellers' Championship. Today's coverage is about to start. Welcome to Cromwell, Connecticut. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam at one of my favourite stops each year on tour. It's TPC River Highlands and the Travellers' Championship. So many famous finishes that have happened here. Rich, I like this golf course. What are your thoughts? It's a good golf course. There's no doubt about it. I think the players enjoy it because it's not a test of golf that really stresses you out. It's straight there in front of you. I think we're going to see a lot of golfers go out there and try and attack it with driver. I don't think we're going to see too many guys laying up with irons. Maybe on some of the holes, nine would be one of them that I can think about. But this golf course really begs you to attack it. You can make a lot of birdies. Kevin Streelman made seven in a row in his win. And that's the type of golf course it is. You can get on some great rolls if you're giving yourself the opportunity. And it's right there for the taking. You just got to go do it. And it's also the venue of the lowest round ever played on the PGA Tour, a 58 by Jim Fury. Well, it's all promising to be a good day. Can't wait to see what happens. TPC River Highlands really sets up for a couple of wedges early. Yes, not a very long second shot, but a very tricky green to deal with. Getting it close here is tough. Lovely touch. Well played. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. And in it goes for the par. He's currently tied for ninth. Beautiful swing there. Let's have a look at Bryson DeChambeau. Well, these are certainly shot savers. What about this long range putt? wins so far this season. Going with the seven. Anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice. That's just inside the range. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. That was a gallant attempt. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. The fourth hole at TPC River Highlands certainly asks for a longer shot, Rich. Danger here is leaving your tee shot out to the right in the trees and the bunker. If you hit it down the left-hand side, expect a much longer second shot. Playing this shot from about 210 yards out. Only two shots off the pace. Didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. Well, they wanted to hit the fade, and unfortunately, they didn't. Big pass over coming up for this fella. Well hold. Just two shots back after that hole. Teeing off here at the fifth. Opting for the three wood. Oh, wonderful shot and a chance for birdie at the fifth. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. John, do you have any info down there? Well, I'm on the 13th hole now as Patrick Cantley lines up his next shot. 11 feet left to the hole. That will drop in for birdie. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. Currently one under for the event. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. Here we are at the sixth hole. Look, coming off a of birdie at the last hole, this player finally is making something happen. Looking forward to the next hole, but danger lurks if they're not careful. Let's have a look at Bryson DeChambeau's effort.
Nicely done. Getting ready to play their third. Only one shot off the pace. And he's safely on the green with that shot. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two putt here is still good. Not sure how that putt came up, Shy. Downhill putt, and sometimes you think it's going to run out more than it does. Just couldn't quite figure it out this time. And down it goes. Currently one under for the day. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Well, I hope you pack the bucket and spade because you're heading to the sand. And this effort by Gary Woodland was just a little while ago. Third shot now. Let's get back to it, shall we? Now, man on the ground, John McCarthy. What's this line look like, mate? Well, it's sitting up pretty good here in the sand. I've seen much worse, believe me. Handy effort, that one. And this putt is to move into a share for the lead. Ooh. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. Putt is underway. And that's the kind of fighting spirit that keeps a good round going. Yeah, in the bunker, off the tee, great recovery. Just one off the lead after that hole. We've reached the eighth hole. The tee is yours. Going with the five wood. Well, not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. It's got a chance. That's well hold. And that will take him to two under. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Teeing off here at the ninth hole. Gotta say, just some of the best rhythm in the game. From around 140 yards here, one stroke off the lead. Come on, get down. Now that looked pretty good the whole way. He's already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. Looking really good, this one. And with that putt hold, it's back-to-back -back birdies. Kind of like it. Two in a row. John, give us a small update. Well, I'm over on the 17th hole now, guys. This is Patrick Cantley's next shot. Second shot here on the 17th. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. Time now to make the turn for home, Rich, and uh, this is an exciting part of the championship. What are your thoughts on this performance? One back, nine to go, Luke. This is getting interesting. What a bad line, this one. How much did the win last week give them the confidence to perhaps pull it off again here and go back to back? A massive win last week, looking to double up again this week. I got to say, they're building off all the good things they did last week. A win could definitely happen. Nice one. Fourth booty of the day. And that will take him to four under. Well, that was a positive hole. A little shift up the leaderboard. Well played. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Well, that's the perfect shape. Just controlling a fade. Setting up miles from the hole. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. Now that's a mistake. How do you leave that short? It's, it defies gravity, that one. That should have chased out more, but it didn't. Let's have a look at Bryson DeChambeau. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Teeing off here on the 12th hole.
That's tidy. Sitting at minus four. Currently tied for top spot. Well played, mate. Let's head over to the 13th. Time for the fifth shot. John, have you got a read on this one? Well, guys, this looks like it's about 21 feet. Just didn't drop. This putt just five feet away from the hole. This one's looking good. Solid par putt, that. He's currently tied for first. Welcome to this hole. It's a par five. Well, on the tee now, coming off a par. Chance to pipe one up the middle. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. The lines aren't too bad here in the first cut of rough. That's it. It's OK. And here we are with the third shot. Time now for the fourth shot. Can make this one. It's for par. It was on a good line. And this one will be for bogey. Currently has a share of second place. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. Not too sure that was, but that didn't even come close to resembling a golf swing. Yeah, this lies pretty deep here. Smart shot, always back into the fairway as a safe play. Left yourself an opportunity. Oh, a lovely opportunity to save par here. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Game's just getting a little out of shape by the looks of it. Two bogeys in a row, never a good sign. Now playing a little defensively. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Well, Rich, as we approach the closing holes here at TPC River Highlands, there are some significant shots to hit, and here at 15, it's certainly one of them. The tee shot is most definitely an important shot. If you hit a little bit too far left, water scary close to the left-hand side. Out to the right is no good. Length isn't nearly as important as how straight you can drive it. All in all, a very exciting short par four. Love this hole. Well, let's catch up with this play just a moment ago. A great shot by our leader. This is why they're on top, Rich. Good look here for a second shot. OK, let's get back to the action. Now, this is one of those lengthy putts. Good one just to get close. Ouch, that hurts. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. I like the look of this. But what a way to bounce back. Nice putt to hole. They're going to have to dig deep to pull this one out. Let's see what they got. He's currently sitting in second. Well, now, things have gotten interesting. Closing the gap. Going with the six iron here. Oh, dear. That one's heading to the water. Getting ready to play their third. Just a stroke behind the leader. This one's heading left, I think. Close to the surface here, and the green side rough. The best part about being a commentator, Rich, is being able to sit back and watch them have to sweat over these putts. Needs to make this one. It is a must make, and I'm excited to see what they can produce. Job done. Let's head to the next. And with that, he moves up to even par. 
Well, this lake that is a real feature here in the closing holes of TPC River Highlands comes into play also off the tee at 17. The most intimidating shot on the golf course, the tee shot here at 17. Bail left, you could find the bunkers, and if you bail right, you better bring your waders. A man on the ground, John, he's down there. What's the news? Well, guys, over on the 18th hole now, this is Gary Woodland's next shot. And this one's for birdie. Playing from around 110 yards out. Four strokes off the lead. Woo, back there, horsey. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two-putt that for sure. Trying to get to one under here with this putt. Oh, so close. Just three feet to the cup. Okay, let's head to the next. Trailing by four strokes. The finishing hole at TPC River Highlands has gone through a few adjustments over the last handful of years, and it's also seen a very significant moment in the history of the PGA Tour. Plenty of fantastic moments here. Tee shot goes back up the hill, over a rise, semi-blind tee shot, find the fairway, and you're going to have an excellent look at the green and a possibility of making birdie. It was the sight of the lowest ever round recorded on the PGA Tour, a 58 if you don't mind. 69 up for grabs here if you can hold this putt. And with that putt, that'll bring his tournament to a close. Well, there's no doubt the chance to go back to back was a huge carrot. Unfortunately, just coming up a bit short, but it's certainly exciting down the stretch. No shame in finishing runner up after coming off a victory last week. Unfortunately, back to back wins would have been a little sweeter, but still great job. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. I'm Luke Elvey, and on behalf of Ridge Beam, plus all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, it's good night for now.